Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to That Love Podcast Stand Up Show. We're here to tickle your funny bones and warm your hearts with a little romantic tale. Chapter 1 A Chance Encounter. So, gather round and get ready for some laughter and love. Let me tell you about Nia and Zuri, the stars of our little rom com adventure. Now, Rain. Oh, Rain, the ultimate wingman. Not only does it make your hair look like a science experiment gone wrong, but it also plays Cupid on the streets. Imagine our heroine, Nia, strutting down the street in the rain, looking like a mix between a drenched rat and Sherlock Holmes in a fashionable trench coat. And there it is, folks. A cafe with a warm, inviting glow, like a cozy haven for the soggy and the caffeine-deprived talk about finding hope in a storm, or in this case, a caffeine fix. Nia, in a moment of daring, decides to take the plunge, pun totally intended, and steps inside the cafe. And guess what? She discovers a tall, dark-haired man engrossed in a book. Now, let me tell you, finding a man who reads is like finding a unicorn in a petting zoo. Extraordinary and highly sought after. It's like stumbling upon a rare breed of intellectual hotness. But wait, it gets juicier. Their eyes meet, and you can practically hear the sound of Cupid's arrow whizzing through the air. Nia, mustering up all her courage, asks if she can share his table because, apparently, all the other spots are taken. Oh, really, Nia? <laughs> you couldn't find an empty table even if it came with a neon sign saying, reserved for awkward encounters? <laughs> and the magic begins. They bond over their favorite authors and start exchanging passages like they're competing in a rap battle of literary genius. I can imagine it now. Yo, you like Dickens? I'm all about Austin. Let's see whose characters can have the most socially awkward tea party. But seriously, folks, isn't it amazing how a random encounter can turn into something beautiful? They lose track of time, engrossed in their conversation, blissfully ignorant of the world around them. That's the power of books, my friends. They teleport you to another time and place, and in this case, they bring two souls together faster than a high-speed internet connection. Sadly, like all good things, their coffee shop rendezvous comes to an end. The cafe starts to empty out, and it's time to bid farewell. But don't fret, folks. This isn't a tearjerker. Nia and Zuri part ways with a promise to meet again. Who knows? Maybe the rain will act as their matchmaker once more, and they'll bump into each other in yet another cozy cafe, spilling coffee and sharing witty banter. So, the next time it's pouring outside and you're feeling a little lonely, remember this tale. Grab your trusty umbrella, head to the nearest cafe, and who knows, you might just find your own Zuri or Nia. And if love doesn't find you... Well, at least you'll have a steaming cup of coffee to keep you company. Cheers to that, my friends. <laughs>